Hi, uh, Mirren here, and I just watched Another Round, uh, which is directed by Thomas Vinterberg uh, and is starring the Mads Mikkelsen, uh, Maria Bonnevi, Magnus Milang, Thomas Bo Larsen, and uh, Lars Ranth. I hope I'm saying all of their names right. Uh, and the premise of this movie is uh, four high school English, uh, four high, not like English teachers, four high school teachers um, decide, uh, and they're all in, in a bit of a, a, a life drought. They, they all find they've gotten a little boring and their, their teaching is not very lively and they're, they seem to, f their, their marriages have lost romance. Uh, and there's an, they find this old Swedish psychologist theory that uh, all men, all human beings, are born with a 0.05% blood alcohol deficit. And they decide to write a paper and test this theory, theory by being uh, constantly drunk all day, every day, more or less. Um, and this devolves into an increased consumption and, and attending work. Uh, drunken stuff and this downward or upward upward spiral depending on how you watch the movie um, and this movie is it is so charming it's really it's two hours of four bros hanging out being bros and I think it's really unique and creative and uh, smartly well written in the way it combines all these different points and facets of life, right? Like the idea of making them, they're teaching high school students. Uh, I believe it's supposed to be high school. I'm not sure. Quebec and uh, education in Quebec is weird. So judging ages and in, in, in movies. Anyways, um, the idea of like combining this sort of uh, the juxtaposition to use an Englishy word of like high school teachers trying to be more social by getting drunk next to high school students who, you know, as one, uh, might be inclined to exhibit the same behavior <laughs> and, you know, teachers are supposed to condone, condemn that is really smart and interesting. And I think the strength of this movie is the performances and the writing. It's, it's really clever. Uh, and I think has a lot of really neat, well strung together, clever ideas that really paint these really complete pictures of who these four main characters are. Uh, the star is Mads Mikkelsen. He's amazing. I love Mads Mikkelsen. He's one of my favorites. Um, and he totally steals the show, but so does almost everyone in the supporting cast. And it's just so fun to watch these characters do what they do. And, and the scenes where they're happy are really interesting. Um, and you kind of get the suspicion because they're, you get this feeling because they're in the middle of their life that they're they're going down the wrong path, but they'll probably figure it out because they kind of have enough life experience that you know that they're they're going to be able to make the right decision at some point. But at the same time, it's super charming and humbling to see people at this age go through problems that high schoolers have, especially when it's their job to teach high schoolers. And I really like that. Um... It's, it's just super fun to watch and it's super interesting and definitely something I would love to take notes on and, and discuss because it's a it's a really clever movie. Um, it does have some mild weaknesses. There are some parts that drag or um, that I feel are a little too cliche, um, which you could predict considering it's a movie about like drunk fathers. Um, and there are, I think the direction... Um, is a little, has some strengths and have some weaknesses. I think the direction of the performances clearly is very good. And although um, the the entire movie shot in handheld, and that definitely works considering it's a movie where the whole time all the characters are drunk, there are definitely some scenes that are a little bit more serious uh, and, and real and sober that I think could have really benefited from just putting the camera on sticks just toning it down a little bit. Uh, you know, it is kind of an independent, slightly artsy movie with Mads Mikkelsen, so it has to have a lot of handheld. And I was okay with it for a lot of this movie, and normally I, I can find that really annoying. Um, but 
Most of it was good. There were just some parts where I was like, okay, you could be doing more to use the camera to tell the story. And the cinematography in general is really natural and and flat. Like all there, there's not a lot done with the camera to tell the story. Uh, and I think that could have enriched it. Although I do totally understand what they were going for. And for the most part, it does work being very natural and immediate and personal. And overall, this movie is really awesome. I think uh, as someone who is currently in high school, but also would like to at some point become a teacher. Um, and it also with the pandemic has had a weird social life for the past over a year. It was really fun watching this movie. It was a really cool, interesting time. I felt things. I got emotional, but um, I like the note it ends on, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. It makes me want to watch it with friends and have a fun discussion about it and then go do something else, get a burger at McDonald's and have a good time, and I think that makes it a success. So that's another round um, directed by, again, what's his name? Sorry. Uh, Thomas Vinterberg. Uh, I'm, I'll give it, um, I'll give it a, a good 8.5 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. I'm sure some people won't like it too much just because uh, I think you have to be into thinking about what the movie's talking about. And, and if you don't care about those things and that's not something you relate to, uh, that's where a lot of my enjoyment came from, but it's, it's really cool. It's really unique. Uh, 8.5 out of 10, <laughs> another round. See ya.